Early summer hair shedding is an indicator trait for heat tolerance and tolerance to fescue toxicosis. For producers in heat-stressed areas and for cattle grazing endophyte-infected fescue, hair shedding is an evaluation of environmental adaptability. Cattle that shed their winter hair coat earlier in the season are less stressed and therefore can put the energy that might have gone to thermoregulation towards growth and production. Hair shed is a trait that can be collected even when you're just checking the herd. Hair shed is visually evaluated on a one to five scale where a score of five represents a full winter hair coat and a one represents a completely slicked off winter hair coat. While there is some variation in shedding patterns, typically cattle shed from the front to the back and top to bottom. Each score represents the pattern of hair shed in 25% increments. A score of five is an animal that has shed 0% of the winter hair coat, whereas a score of four has shed 25% of that winter hair coat, typically in the area around the head and the neck. A score of three is gonna be an animal that has a 50% shed out of that winter hair coat. So they've not only lost the hair around the head and the neck, but also down the top line and further on down the brisket. A score of two is an animal that has 75% shed, holding that hair around the belly and the flank, while a score of one is 100% shed out of that winter hair coat. Let's look at a few examples of how to score hair shedding, and let's start with a score of five. Looking at this female, we first notice that she is still carrying a full winter hair coat. We see that she has not started shedding around the head or the neck. Here are a couple more examples of a score of five. As we progress to a score of four, again, this is an animal that has 25% hair shed, looking around that head and neck region. In this example, we see that she has started to shed the winter hair coat from her head, and it's starting down her neck, but the shedding is not fully down her brisket or down her top line. Here are a couple more examples of a score of four. Moving to a score of three, we expect to see an animal that has about 50% of the winter hair coat slicked off. Looking at this female, we can see that the head and neck have slicked off the thick winter hair coat, and we can also see over the top line that this female has started to shed the hair coat as well. Now, as we look over her shoulder and her ribs, we can see the lower half of her body is still holding on to that winter hair coat. Here are a couple more examples of a score of three. An animal that has reached a hair shed score of two will only have winter hair coat remaining around the belly and the flank area. We see this to be true as we evaluate this female. We notice that she has mostly shed off her winter hair coat. Her head, neck, top line, and sides are now a summer hair coat. If we look at her belly and flank region, we can still see the longer dead winter hair coat remaining. Here are a couple more examples of a score of two. Finally, as we move to a hair shed score of one, this is an animal that has completely lost that winter hair coat or a 100% shed out. Looking at this female, we do not see that dead winter hair coat remaining. She is completely slicked off. Here's another example of a score of one. There are guidelines to follow when collecting hair shedding scores to submit to the American Angus Association. First, cattle need to be at least in that yearling age window or 320 days of age to score hair shedding. Scores can be collected each year on animals that remain in the herd. Hair shedding should be assessed when there's the most variation in hair shed within the herd. This is typically gonna be from April to June, depending on location of where you live. And cattle need to be scored within a seven day period to be eligible for the same group. 
As with all subjective traits, such as hair shed scoring, it is important to have the same person score a group to maintain consistency among scores. While scoring, it's also recommended to have the scoring guide that's provided by the American Angus Association available to reference as a baseline, which can be found online or by contacting the office. Thank you for your commitment to education and the pursuit to advance the Angus breed.